Part 1. Is prune necessary? It's easy for tactical shooters that are limited to CQB to omit any consideration for prone. However, once the scope is expanded to involve medium to long range engagements, prone becomes a necessary position to implement. Part 2. A good stance control system for a tactical shooter should be direct, efficient, consistent, and immersive. Direct. Players should be able to go from standing directly to prone and vice versa without being forced to transition through the kneeling position. Efficient. Players should be able to transition to a position with no wasted effort, that is, with one single quick tap of a button. This is objectively more efficient than requiring the player to press a button multiple times or to hold it or to press a combination or a sequence of buttons. Consistent Pressing a button should consistently transition us to a single specific position unless it is physically impossible to perform the action. This includes a physical collision that would have prevented us from standing upright or going prone. Too deep. Should a player find himself uncertain of his current position, he would be prevented from going into an unintended position. Hence, a consistent system is not only more reliable than toggling, but it also frees us from relying on a heads-up display so that we can maintain both our visual attention downrange and our sense of immersion. Immersive it is relatively easy to tell if we're in prone position by visual cues, the most apparent of which is the level of the ground relative to our perspective. However, the lack of proprioception in video games sometimes makes it impossible to distinguish between standing and kneeling. When faced with this problem, most first-person shooters will compromise immersion and resort to the option of displaying a stance indicator easy but an easy solution for most first person shooters is not always the best solution for a tactical shooter there's nothing wrong with being dependent on the hut as a crutch but if a game could do with one less indicator on the screen it would be much more immersive part 3 transitioning between shooting positions Tap C to go to kneeling, tap Z to drop to prone, tap spacebar to recover to standing. Part 4. Overcoming obstacles. Attempting to incorporate either bunny hopping or jumping in one spot into a tactical shooter would be counterproductive. Instead, resources would be better spent on implementing contextual jumping onto or over lower obstacles and vaulting or climbing higher ones. These mobility actions could be integrated into the system that was proposed earlier. To jump onto or vault over an obstacle when you are stationary, move forward against the obstacle in front of you and tap spacebar. To do it on the move, keep moving forward towards the obstacle when approaching it and tap spacebar. If you were crouched before you vaulted an obstacle, you should automatically remain so after as well. 